Well, I invite all the children who want to get a closer view of the baptism to please come forward and take a seat on either the, uh, the right or the left side here. All right, perfect. Thank you. Oh, great. The candidate for holy baptism will now be presented. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is brought up in the Christian faith and life? I will, will you by your prayers and witness help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? I will, Do you renounce Satan and all of the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? I now do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your savior? I do. do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? I do. do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? I do. Now to all of you, will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support this person in her life in Christ? Amen. Let us now join with she who is committing herself to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? Yes. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Good answer. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? Yes. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in the prayers? Yes. I will, with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will, with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will, with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, yes. loving your neighbor as yourself? I will, with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will, with God's help. Let us now pray for this child who is to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver her, O oh Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open her heart to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill her with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep her in faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach her to love others in the power of the spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send her into the world in witness to, in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring her to fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. I invite you all to come forward. <laughs> Charlie, I have a job for you if you're... Okay. Okay. You guys can be on that side. Charlie, would you, would you mind pouring the water for me? Okay, you can step up here too.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt and into the land of promise. In it, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. There we go. There we go. Emmeline, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Emmeline, you are sealed by the power of the Holy Spirit and marked as Christ's own forever. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that by the water and the Holy Spirit you have bestowed upon this your servant the forgiveness of sin and have raised her to the new life of grace. Sustain her, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give her an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you in the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. You will pray with me. Let us welcome the newly baptized. We receive you into the household of God, confess the faith of Christ crucified, proclaim his resurrection, and share in his life, death, and resurrection. He is. He's doing good. Stand up and help me. All right. The peace of the Lord be always with you, okay? One, two, three. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Also 